Hi everyone, I'm Dan and I have Muckle Dirt here from Footprinting. And uh, one, of, one of the big mysteries, I think, for at least companies that are just starting out with print is how do they know they're preparing the files correctly for you? Can, do you have some tips you can show them or talk to them about? Well, nowadays, pretty much everything's being sent just as high-res PDF with bleeds. Okay. Uh, that's what we're requesting. So if you have a 16-page book, we want it in single page, not in spreads, because mm -hmm. normally people are designing in what's called reader spreads. Okay. And then we have to separate those pages out to put it in printer spreads if it's a South Stitch book. Mm -hmm. uh, but I digress. Um, you know, otherwise, people are sending packaged in design files. Okay. So that will have then the fonts yep. in it, and then we'll have the pictures, and we'll have the InDesign file. So we'll open that up and mm -hmm. export that. Uh, a couple things that people aren't thinking about doing before sending us a final high res PDF is uh, making sure that a lot of their fonts are then uh, outlined. Mm -hmm. So that there's no font issues that, that yeah. can happen from time to time. And then also making sure that in their files uh, that the colors are correct. So your spot colors are marked as spot, your CMYK is CMYK, and then um, a big one would be is uh, all your black type is just 100% black and not okay. a build, an RGB build or something like that. That's the, the way you're going to get the best print. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's pretty easy in InDesign to export uh, with bleed, and, and I, I could probably do a different bleeding. video on that. So, so the bleed on the PDF, did they just go off the off the so screen? So when you're you designing, or? you kind of have to have your pictures kind of going off the yeah. edges, and then yeah. when you're exporting, is when you're deciding how much bleed to actually be on the right. PDF that's sending. Now, to if us. they don't know where to mark it, do you guys kind of mark up the cut points on, on the PDF, or how does that work? Well. Uh, they could just call us and we could walk them through, walk it. Them through uh, it. Usually it's one of the easiest ways. Cool. Um, but, you know, right now it used to be Quark and then PageMaker and mm -hmm. now InDesign is kind of the big one that mm -hmm. most designers are cre uh, doing mm -hmm. final uh, file final layout and, yeah. and then exporting a PDF. But PDFs can come from anywhere. Yeah. A lot of Word PDFs we're getting. Um, yeah. Uh, even stuff out of... Uh, Power, publisher PowerPoint, and PowerPoint Interesting. PDFs that we can print from right. and um, we can even with some of the programs we have now add bleed if that's gonna be a little bit hard of a situation right. for some novice uh, yeah. beginner designers we should talk about vector graphic in a different video uh, mm -hmm. the importance of vector that, that might be a good one but that's another good one but for the sake of this video those are some tips for you on preparing your your uh, print job uh, for the print and uh, feel free to ask Footprinting any questions you might have. Thank you.